Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to put my Motorx style running uh, Marshmallow to the test here against the Nexus 6P, uh, which is probably its most direct uh, kind of rival here. You know, both uh, very nice stock devices. Uh, so we wanted to test the official Android 6.0 here and see uh, if it's a good update or not. So far from the features, it looks uh, pretty nice. And I think we do get as well a slightly different boot animation on the Moto X style, uh, which comes with some sort of uh, endorsement, as I remember. Or maybe I was just seeing things. No, it was there. You see, it only comes up momentarily, but I did see it endorsed by something or other. Uh, you can see it actually boots up faster here than the uh, Nexus 6P, which is very nice. Uh, everything's up to date in terms of the app, so you don't have to worry about that. And we are uh, running, obviously, the uh, Marshmallow here on both of them. I think a little bit more advanced Marshmallow, obviously, on the Nexus 6P. That is the benefit of going with the Nexus device. Uh, so uh, we can have a look and see you know, how they compare. So uh, that looked like it was the Moto, but I think it was the Nexus. That was the Moto. Oh, that was probably identical. 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 Very similar. <laughs> wow, this is a very good uh, optimization here from Moto. You can see uh, there's literally no difference when it comes to day to day uh, apps. A little bit quicker here for the Play Store. And what else do we have? I think we have the, uh, we do have the calculator goal. So you can see not a huge difference here when it comes to the day-to-day -day apps. I uh, can have a look at the game. faster on the Moto, which is very nice. I'm going to call it the Moto, I think, actually, when it comes to the day-to-day -day kind of performance here. Only just, though. Uh, so I wonder why that could be. Uh, but nevertheless, we can have a look and see you know, how they uh, do the web browsing, which is also another important aspect. So tech radar. Whoa. So I think the uh, ad came up first here, but it looked like it was going into it quicker here on the uh, Nexus GSM. So a little bit faster, I think, here uh, on the Nexus again. Uh, you can see we do have a gold Nexus 6P going to the US, which is very nice. Lucky. Uh, so, Verge. Let's have some Verge. Go. Wow, very close, but I think the 6P is just ahead here. Well, that's what I did expect actually from the uh, the Snapdragon 810. It does dominate when it comes to the web browsing, which is nice. But the uh, Moto not far behind, nevertheless, and I'm very impressed uh, with the speed here. Can have a look at the multitasking as well. Don't anticipate any problems uh, with these two. 
and you can see it's like butter Samsung could take a lot of lessons here look at that not a single issue so about the same on every single one here and the camera look at that seamless uh, I think uh, we do have the game as well so maybe a little bit faster for the going back into the game uh, so to be strict we're probably going to give it to the Nexus 6P uh, but generally you know it's not a huge difference at the end of the day you can see very nice uh, performance here to very optimized devices uh, we do also uh, you know we could have a quick look at the actual uh, you know uh, updates here so obviously the main difference I think here with these two uh, is uh, the Moto display technology which you do get on the uh, Moto X style and you know that is pretty cool here so like when the display is off you do get like your notifications coming up and then you can just swipe it and then see uh, basically you know what it is so I think uh, the Nexus 6P is still sticking with the ambient uh, display technology which is nice uh, so uh, I think also uh, you get on the uh, the um, the Moto X style obviously expandable storage so you can use like 128 gigabyte card as your main kind of storage which is quite awesome obviously you don't have the micro SD uh, on the Nexus 6P uh, you do also have uh, some nice quick actions as well such as the shake and bake uh, which is uh, pretty cool as well as obviously the uh, torch double shot so you know I think there's some pretty cool things here on the uh, style which uh, you know provides some nice utility uh, however the Nexus itself does have some utility you know you can double tap the uh, power button obviously to get into the camera uh, you know when it does want to work you can see and I think the camera UI is probably a little bit nicer on the uh, the Nexus at the moment. I, th I think that uh, the one on the Moto definitely needs some kind of updating here. So you can see we do get roughly the same kind of modes. Uh, but I think you get a little bit more on the Nexus 6P as well as the HDR Plus which is very nice. Uh, I think the actual camera is a bit better as well on the Nexus 6P. Uh, so uh, also obviously Super AMOLED display which is very nice but nevertheless I do like the display on the Moto X style still uh, type C connector as well as a fingerprint sensor on the back uh, I wonder why Moto did skip that on the Moto X style it seems a little bit weird to me but uh, other than that uh, you know I think you're getting pretty much the same kind of good stuff here although this is obviously running the uh, latest Android 6.0.1 uh, which means that you know there might be some uh, nice uh, improvements here uh, hopefully uh, you know Motorola will push out the newest uh, version of Marshmallow as well and uh, yeah I think I'm going to leave it there you can see uh, very nice uh, performance in general when it comes to the Motorola uh, Moto X style here. I think it did win actually when it came to the apps uh, and the Nexus is no slouch. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.